Tired of the government telling me how to run my business. Tired of this bar being empty every night. The weather report did not say anything about snow. <laughs> we are officially snowed in. Oh. Great movie, great ensemble, great title. For both of you, um, I'm interested, what was it about this script that drew you in? What intrigued you? A group of people get stranded in a, in a bar out in the middle of nowhere on the night of a blizzard. I mean, that was one of the things that was exciting for me is what happens when you throw all these disparate elements into a concentrated place like that? It's about love, it's about trying to find love, it's about losing love, it's about, you know, Everybody cares about each other in a yeah. weird, sometimes warped way. Their histories are complicated. The cohesion is the bar and the owner of the bar. They're harmless people, but they're really, you know, that's what they do. Is they hang out and they have a few drinks and maybe they do some singing. Karaoke, right? Karaoke. Some of us could sing, some... Brings out the best and the worst in us, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if I play pool while you process? If you won't take me home, I will find someone that will. I can feel the waves of crazy coming off you. You mentioned you both talked about, you know, having a great ensemble. Uh, it sounds like there was a lot of uh, give and take in some of the younger characters, you know, able to learn as a mentor. As an actor, you gotta watch when you take a character and you're doing a film, it's a story about people that's kind of real, is to really believe in those characters. And that's when you get with a group of people in a story like this, you could be laughing at yourself through the whole movie. It was, it was fun. But to be sensitive to the reality that's there too. Everyone was very different, but they believed in themselves in the movie. This is a neat piece, too, because everybody has their moments. Everybody comes to life as a character. As you go around the room, different moments, they're isolated and they're part of the room sometimes. Sometimes they move with other people, but everybody has their moments. Like a great play. You, yes, you learn everybody's stories. Yeah, there was a time when I, every night I'd set up the karaoke here, and then one night he decides that I'm not worthy of a woman's love. Stay clear of this guy. You know, you've been a part of projects, you know, with, that did have budgets. Talk about the fulfillment you can get out of something like this when people come together and bring something to life on pennies. This was a low, lower budget film. You had to be there because you were committed to the material. It wasn't about making, uh, you know, making a fortune. Yeah, right. And it was just, you were there for the love of the piece. If somebody said it was our movie like Cheers, no, they had a budget. <laughs> we, were, we were real local pub kind of thing. Low profile. One of the things that's, I think, great about it is what they managed to get on the screen for the money. The, the art direction, uh, wardrobe, uh, not to mention, I mean, just the actors who showed up for the work, you know. Uh, but uh, it, they made it look good. Yeah,